Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back from vacation. I went to Jamaica and I didn't really film much while I was there. I thought I would do a vlog, but vlogging is actually really hard and I'm not that good at it. So I did um, film some things so I can insert some clips here if anyone is interested um, to see what I did in Jamaica. I mean, not that you see much because I didn't film much but basically all I did was um, drink coffee, go by the pool, sit on the beach, eat food so yeah <laughs> and then I did it over again so it was a nice uh, vacation it was really relaxing it was a break from work which is what most of us want and need so yeah I'll insert some clips here So if you guys saw, um, I did 
film a video what's in my travel bags um, if you missed that you can watch that video to see what I brought on vacation I didn't film my makeup bag because I didn't pack it till like the very last minute and I didn't bring much for makeup so I did make an Instagram post of what was in my makeup bag so you can see that if you're not following me it's um, at Carly Melissa Rose uh, on Instagram you can go check me out there but I thought for this video I would do like a quick get ready with me with the products that I brought to Jamaica um, I actually only used two of them when I was there but yeah today I'm gonna do like a full face but it's a really natural makeup look it's actually something I would do more um, in the summer which is why I brought those products to Jamaica but I thought it would be fun to do it here since I didn't use those products while I was away I only used two of them which I'll talk about so let's get started and today I am in a different setup because um, I'm actually filming during the day for once because it's Sunday so I have natural lighting but I hope it looks okay um, I did get a tan I guess I mean it's more like a sunburn <laughs> but it's kind of fading to a tan and now I have like freckles everywhere and a red nose but that's usual so I wouldn't wear foundation um, today anyway because I don't think any of my foundations would actually match me now and my forehead is peeling a bit still so that would just look like a mess so anyway I'll get started and stop talking so the first thing that I'm going to use today is this drunk elephant umbra tint physical daily defense protection SPF 30 broad spectrum sunscreen so this is a physical sunscreen it's 20% zinc oxide um, I was kind of scared when I first got this because I thought that I was allergic to zinc oxide because I used a product like back in the day uh, a tinted moisturizer that had that in it and I had a rash like all over my face but yeah I use this a lot and it's fine so I'm glad that I'm not allergic to that but this is the product well, like I said before I only used two products from my makeup bag when I was away this is one of them I used this every day except one day that I forgot to put it on which is the day that I got a sunburn so I know that this actually works so it's called umbra tint it does have a tint to it can see and it's kind of messy right now um, but it's really not a tinted moisturizer it's more like a glowy sunscreen so you'll see when I put it on it doesn't like tint my skin so but I do still really like this product because it feels really nice on the skin um, sometimes sunscreen is like really thick and like it doesn't blend well but this is really nice and you can use this every day if you wanted to under your makeup which I should be doing because I don't wear SPF every day but even in winter you should wear SPF so yeah we'll see if I start um, doing that in my routine but yeah this is something I used every day while I was there except the one day that I forgot so this is the amount that I was using um, and you can see the texture is like pretty thick but I don't know it's kind of like a gel it's really interesting so what I was doing was just putting it like that and then um, mixing it a bit in my hands and then I apply it with my fingers And they do have um, a regular sunscreen, Drunk Elephant, but um, I heard that people like this one better, even though it's the tinted version, they'll use this one as like a regular sunscreen. I haven't tried the other one, so I don't know 
if it is better or not but yeah so the thing with this is you just have to check that it's blended in because sometimes I notice like there's like an orange streak um if you don't blend it in fully because there's like little pigment particles in it yeah so you just make sure that it's fully blended and with the rest I actually just rub it on my the top of my hands because that's normally where you start to age the most so I figured I should put sunscreen there also so this is the effect that it gives so it's really just like a sheen um, it's not really tinted at all I don't find so there it is up close as you can see you can still see my freckles and my redness but yeah I wasn't about to wear foundation on a beach I mean if you want to you could but yeah I don't like to wear makeup when it's like not necessary if you know what I mean um yeah it's just feeling like you're putting product on your face for no reason plus you're wasting it because no one's gonna see you anyway kind of plus you're going in the water so I don't know so I actually did bring a bronzer because I thought maybe I'd be doing my makeup when we went out for dinner but I didn't feel like it because we would go out for dinner and then go back to the room yeah it just felt like it was more steps than needed like I'd have to put on the makeup then wash off the makeup and then yeah no I am too low maintenance I guess but I did bring this bronzer it's the Hula bronzer from Benefit I think this is a mini size I'm sure many of you have seen it before it looks like this so it is a matte bronzer and it's quite powdery and a bit dark if you can see it there but if you use a light hand it's fine so yeah and I only brought two brushes in my bag one of them was my BH Cosmetics dual fiber brush so this is the brush I would use for bronzer so I just like dab it in tap off any excess and just lightly you know blend I find this bronzer is more like on the orange side compared to my other ones and usually I use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer which is really light and barely <laughs> noticeable so this one I have to take more time to blend it out I feel just put them on my nose because it's all red yeah I think that is good enough and for blush I brought my butter blush from physicians formula this one is the shade natural glow so it is really pale um, it's it doesn't even really show up as a blush it's more like a sheen um, and I think like some people could get away with using this as a highlighter but for me it's a bit too like rosy I feel so the other brush I brought is my BH Cosmetics contour brush it's called the 110 this is the brush I always use for blush so I'll just swirl this around so that's what it looks like on the brush and I need a mirror I did use this in another video but I can't remember what it was was it my drugstore video I don't remember but I did I remember liking it but yeah like it doesn't really 
show as a blush. It's more like a sheer tiny bit of pink maybe, but mostly just like a glow. And I mean, that's the name of it, natural glow. So, I mean, don't get this one if you want more like a pigmented blush. So yeah, just a nice glowy product. And for my highlighter, I actually brought a cream highlighter. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter in, I think it's the shade 3. So it looks like this. It's like a moussey product. So this is like what I would consider too dark for my skin tone. But I wear this in the summer. Actually with the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. And it looks really nice when you have like a bit of a tan. I mean, if you have my skin tone. Um, obviously, if you're deeper, this will just look nice anyway. But for me, I have to wear it when I have more color in my skin. So I just get a bit on my finger like that. And I dab it on. And it's really like a natural glow, which is what I like, especially if I have a tan already. I just want something like sheer on my skin. So yeah, I don't know if you can even really see that, but I mean, yeah, you can kind of see it here. So it's more like on the gold side, but it's not too crazy. So even though it's the shade three, I think like if you had um, a lighter skin tone, you could still wear this shade. So I did bring two eye products. Um, I brought this Aveda. Yuruku Eye Accent. I don't think they make these anymore. This is so old. I might have to declutter it. <laughs> but I wanted to bring like a cream that I could just put on with my fingers um, and not have to like worry about blending out eyeshadow. So that's why I packed this. And the other thing is um, this mini Stila Glitter and Glow. This is the shade Kitten, so it's, you know, their most famous shade. So I brought this in case I wanted to put some glitter on, which I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, I think I want to pair these two today just for fun. And I did bring eyeshadow brushes because I have this um, eye travel set. From Luxie Beauty that I got in a boxy charm. So it has four mini eyeshadow brushes. I showed this in my What's in My Travel Bags video. So yeah, I don't think I'll need these, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna put this eye accent on first so basically it's a cream eyeshadow but in a tube and i think it was marketed so like you could put it anywhere like you could put it um on your cheeks or as a highlighter if you wanted to and yeah this one was in the shade kaja but i don't think they make these anymore so We'll see if it still functions. So I'm just putting that on my lid and like taking it up to my brow bone. It's very sheer. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah, it's just like a sheer wash. It's 
it's kind of like a champagne-y pink color and I'm putting on like a really tiny amount if you can see that at all because I think this kind of product if you put too much it's just gonna crease and yeah not look the best so that one seemed to go on more pigmented so I think I have to add a bit more on this eye so yeah you can barely see it but <laughs> it's kind of like a pearlescent glow it feels nice like it doesn't feel heavy or sticky or anything but i will put some glitter on top just in the middle of my eyelid these glittering glows are like very opaque so i think i'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand and then put it on because i don't want to put a lot I don't want this to be like a glam eye look with minimal face makeup because that could look kind of funny. So I'm just picking it up on my finger, stab it in the center of my eyelid. This is the only um, glittering glow that I own, which I know like people on YouTube are crazy about these and they usually have like the whole collection, <laughs> but I think like these are $31 Canadian for the full size and that's just too much to me because this is something like I'm not going to use every time I do my makeup it's more like an accent thing so the mini size is perfect and they, they actually do dry out over time so if you have like seven of them that you're using once every couple months they're probably just gonna all dry out before you can use them so yeah um I do have one color well one shade in my on my Sephora wish list it's it looks really nice like a duochrome one I think it's called Wanderlust so I'm thinking about getting that one but yeah I only have this mini one for now so I just dabbed it out until it was really just like a sheer wash of glitter but that's what I like and for mascara I brought my Revlon Mega Multiplier in brown so I like to use this one when I'm doing minimal makeup it's almost finished it's getting dry actually and for my eyebrows, you guys know I brought my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel because I use it every time I do my makeup. And this can be worn like on minimal makeup days. Um, if I'm doing more glam look, I will still use this. I just think it's really good. So I'm going to go in with that. You've seen me do this before. So I think that's all I'm going to do my brows so the other product I used um, while I was there almost every day is the Tarte quench lip rescue in the shade nude this is one of my favorite lip products I'm actually almost out of it that's all I have left so this is basically like a lip gloss in a stick kind of but also like a lip balm because it actually does moisturize your lips and it has like a bit of like that mintiness that um, it kind of tingles so if you don't like that then you won't like this product but I usually don't like that and this one is very minimal so I really like it and it smells really nice too like um, actual mint so this is all I'm gonna put on my lips today And it has like some glitter in it, if you can tell, but it's really subtle and really just makes your lips look glossy as opposed to glittery and it's not sticky or anything. So I really like it. And the last thing I brought was my mini Mac Fix Plus. This is just the regular one. 
So I'm gonna put some of that. And that is it. This is my minimal, I guess it's more like warm weather look, but you can wear it whenever. So yeah, so it's a really minimal look, just like a glowy, natural vibe, I guess. <laughs> but I really like it. Um, it feels really nice like to not have heavy makeup on, obviously, when you're in warmer weather. Here it's like, well, it's January in Canada, so it's really bad and icy and gross outside. So I just like to do this kind of makeup to feel more summery. So I hope you like this video. Ooh, whoops. Um, it's really probably shorter than most of my videos because it's a very quick makeup look. And I didn't talk much about my trip, but yeah, like I said, I didn't do much on my trip. I just lied around and I read some books. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to get back into my filming schedule, hopefully, and have three videos a week like I did before. I have a few ideas, so... But if you guys want me to do anything in particular, leave a comment down below. Um, but other than that, I will see you in my next video um, and give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!